Hi students, welcome back. This is plus 2 computer application chapter 3 part 4 video. Before getting into the video, please do subscribe. So let's quickly see the previous topics. We have learned about RDBMS that is Relational Database Management System and about RDBMS jargons. In that we have learned about database, table, column and row. And we have learnt about different types of keys in RDBMS that is primary key, foreign key and super key. And now let us learn about ER model that is entity relationship model. See look at the diagram. We are going to learn how to draw this diagram and what is the meaning of all different shapes. Let's get into the topic. In this video, we are going to discuss about ER model. Let's see what are the topics we are going to see. So, first of all, we are going to discuss about ER modeling, basic concepts, and then entity or entity types. Third one is entity instance. And the fourth one is attributes. And the final thing is about relationship types. So let's start with an introduction. So ER model is nothing but a diagrammatic representation of a database design. So in a database there will be multiple of tables. All those tables are called as entity and they do have relationship with another table. So in that way we have to represent all the tables that is entity, its column and the relationship. All this we have to represent as the diagrammatic form. So that is what given here. This is a simple example. Here we do have ATM as a table and transaction as another table. So look at ATM. We do have three columns in that table. Same way transaction is also having three columns. The relationship between them is a weak relationship. So let's see how to design this ER model. And the very first concept is ER modeling basic concepts. So in this ER model concept, we do have three things. First one is entity or entity type. Entity means nothing but it is a table, another name of table. And then the next one is attribute. Attribute means the column present in the table. And then finally the relationship. So we do have multiple tables. So the relationship between one table to another table that is what relationship. So let's see what is entity or entity type. See entity means nothing but a table. So in this table we do have four columns and three records. Don't count the first row that is the heading row. We say it as relation schema and row 2, 3 and 4. The remaining rows are the records. How can you represent this table? We can represent this table as the rectangle box. So this rectangle box is actually called as entity. You can give any value for this entity based on the table. So this table is about employee details. So the entity value is employee. So let's see the next one types of entity. So we do have three types of entity. First one is strong entity. Second one is weak entity and the third one is entity instance. So let's see one by one. First one is strong entity. We know that entity means it is a table. Now which table can be said as strong entity? For example, look at this table. We do have four columns ID, name, age and salary. In this table we do have a unique column that is ID. So ID number will not be repeated for multiple persons. It is unique for every individual. So that column will be set as primary key. So if a table is holding a primary key, then that table, that entity is actually called as strong entity. So you can represent this strong entity by one rectangle box. And the next one is weak entity. So which entity can be said as weak entity? So for example, if a table is not having any primary key and that table is actually called as weak entity. So look at this example. We do have three columns, name, age and salary. No columns are unique column here. 
So, this table, this entity is said as weak entity. Now, how to represent the weak entity? By drawing double rectangle box. So, this is a way to represent weak entity. And the third type is entity instance. So, entity means it is a table. Instance means it is a value for the entity. So, for example, if the entity is based on animal, you can set the instance as dog or cat or lion. Based on the entity, you can set any name. For example, look at this entity. So, this rectangle box is holding the value as employee. The previous example we have seen, uh, we had the table based on employee. So, we have given the instance as employee. So, under the first topic, we have completed about entity and its type. Now, the next one is attributes. So, let's see what is attributes. Attributes means nothing but the column in a table. So, all the columns are called as attributes and all the rows are called as tuple. Entire table is actually called as relation. So, whenever we represent a table, the very first row we will set as heading row. We used to write the heading. For example, roll number, name, age, class, like that. So, that particular heading row is actually called as relational schema. For example, look at this table. We do have four columns, that is four attributes, ID, name, age and salary. Now, look at the first attribute ID. We do have the values as numbers, 1, 2 and 3. And the second attribute is name. We do have names that is string. Alex, Divya, Tulasi. String means is nothing but group of characters. Character means alphabet. String means group of character which means a word. And the next column is age. Under age we do have only numbers. Same way for salary. So we do have single value for every single attributes. It can be either number or character or string now let's see the types of attributes it is a simple topic we do have five types first one is key attribute second one is simple attribute third one is composite attribute fourth one is single valued attribute and the fifth one is multi-valued attribute so let's see one by one the very first one is key attribute so attribute means column in a table all the columns are called as attribute. Now look at this table. We do have four columns. In this four column, the very first column is actually unique column. So ID or roll number or Aadhaar number, all these columns will be set as unique column. So this column is actually called as key attribute because you can set this column as a primary key. So this particular column is actually called as key attribute. All other columns are just attributes. So, let's see how to draw key attribute in a diagrammatic way. For the entire table, we will represent a rectangle box. Since it is based on employee detail, we can name that entity as employee. And we had four columns in that first column is ID. So, to represent key attribute, you have to name the column name and underline it. That is the way to represent key attribute. And the other columns are just name, age and salary. So, in oval shape, we have to represent all the attributes name. Only for the key attribute, we have to underline. So, let us see the next type that is simple attribute. So, simple attribute means an attribute which cannot be separated and it will have a single value for their entity. That is actually called as simple attribute. So, look at this example. The entity name is student and we do have three attributes, roll number, class and age. So, all these three attributes are not necessary to subdivide again. They are the simple attribute. So, let's see the next type that is composite attribute. Composite attribute means an attribute can be subdivided into simple attribute. That is what called as composite attribute. Look at the example. Entity is student and it is having three attributes. They are roll number, 
address and name but look at the attribute address address is further divided into four attribute that is street city country and state so this address this attribute is actually called as composite attribute because it is further divided into four different simple attribute same way attribute name it is divided into three types that is first name middle name and last name so name attribute is actually called as composite attribute so in this entity we do have two composite attributes the next type is single valued attribute so single valued attribute means it contains only one value for the attribute for example in a table if you have an attribute named roll number we do have only one roll number all the students will be provided with one roll number similarly age aadhar number all these are the unique data we don't have multiple numbers or multiple values this type of attributes are called as single valued attributes so let's see the last type in attributes that is multi valued attributes it means it has more than one value it is opposite of single valued for example in a table if you get a column named as degree or bank account or phone number yes we do have multiple values we do have many phone numbers we do have many accounts bank accounts yes we do have many degrees also so all this type of attributes are called as multi valued attributes so coming back to the main topic so in this er modeling basic concepts we do have only three concepts in that we have completed about entity and attributes the final topic is relationship and its types so let's see what is relationship okay let's see what is relationship and its type so in er model relationship exists between two entities we do have three types of relationship let's see one by one so let's see what is relationship and then we'll discuss about relationship instance so look at the picture we do have two entities at the very first that is customer and order so between two entities we do have rhombus shape this rhombus shape is actually the relationship between two entities and we do have the value for this relationship that is actually called as the relationship instance so let us consider online shopping so as a customer we will be provided with customer id and all our details will be maintained in a table that is actually called as customer entity and in case if you want to purchase any product you will place the order all this orders will be maintained as the separate table and in that online shopping in that site whatever products are visible all the details of the products will be maintained as separate table now this is the time to link all the table customer will order a product so we need the customer id customer id will be connected to order table and in that order which for which product they have placed the order so that product id also will be included so this is how we get the products in the real time customer details will be maintained separately similarly product details also will be maintained separately whenever customer places an order at that time both the details are linked together in order entity so this is how the relationship is created so let's see what are the types of relationship so look at the relationship created in this example customer makes order so one customer can make multiple number of orders that is what one is to many relationship so here customer is the entity order is entity makes that is relationship instance and the shape rhombus shape is the relationship so let's see the degree of relationship 
the number of entity types involved in the relationship is known as the degree of relationship here we do have three types if an entity is related with one entity then it is called as unary if it is related with two entities then it is called as binary if it is related with three entities then it is called as ternary so these are the degree of relationships that is unary binary and ternary so let's see the cardinality see cardinality means nothing but the types of relationship here look at the picture person drives vehicle so person is an entity vehicle is an entity and drives that is relationship between two entities so in real time only one person can drive a vehicle so this is actually one to one relationship and the next one customer place order so one customer can make many orders so what will be the relationship yes it is one to many relationship and the third one student register course so student and course these two are the entities and register is the relationship between these two entities so many students can be registered in many different courses so here the relationship is many to many relationship so in a college if you consider a college there will be many students and many different courses will be offered so in that way this comes under many to many relationship and i repeat the types of relationship once again it is one to one relationship one to many relationship and many to many relationship so that's all for today so let's quickly get into the recap here we have discussed about er model in that er modeling basic concepts there are three main basic concepts in that the first concept is entity or entity type entity instant and then the second main concept is attributes and the third main concept is relationship types that's all for today thanks for watching